Are you someone that's looking to relocate and maybe New Hampshire's among your states that you've considered? Or you've always wanted to live here, but you just want to learn more about the state before actually moving to it? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over five reasons why you should move to New Hampshire. And with New Hampshire being one of the first 13 colonies, despite all the other states that's been added since, it still is one of the best states to live in. So with the small state of only 1.38 million people in it, you can get the privacy, the closeness to having neighbors, having land, all that in this beautiful state. So without further ado, let's dive right into those top five reasons why you should move to New Hampshire in 2023. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Shane Moynihan. I'm a real estate agent and investor based out of Keene, New Hampshire. So if you're anyone that's looking to move here, maybe relocate, or you're just looking to buy, sell, or invest around the area, please feel free to reach out. I'm always more than happy to help. I always love just connecting with like-minded folks. So if you're someone that's just even interested in investing or interested in real estate in general, feel free to reach out. So let's dive right into the top five reasons. So these reasons aren't going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to go down the list of five. So number one, we are starting with New Hampshire is one of the safest states to live in, ranking third amongst violent crime, and it is the first in property crimes. So this is great news all around because you don't have to really worry about it and you can feel safe raising a family in New Hampshire, which is awesome. I'll touch more about families a little later on. But another thing to know about New Hampshire is it's legal to conceal carry or open carry a firearm. Of course, if you're of legal age and it's in your name, you feel free to carry it, which I think helps with the crime. And that's why it's one of the safest states to live in. Number two, New Hampshire is one of the top 10 states to live in, actually ranking number four on US News for overall state to live in. And a bonus on top of being the number four state to live in, it's also number four among education for K through 12 learning. So that is awesome. Raising little ones here can be really great and offer a lot of good programs to get enrolled in. With that being said, graduation is also above the national average, coming in at 88.8% graduation rate, which is very good. I believe the national average is right around 85%, so we are above that. Always a good bonus to be on. Reason number three is just New Hampshire's natural beauty. Like, it's just a gorgeous state. You got mountains, you got beaches, you got lakes, you got it all. If you want to go hike, go hike. If you want to go to the beach and sit on the beach and suntan for a while, you can go do that. Or if you want to grab a boat and get on a lake, feel free. It's an awesome state and we kind of try to prove that because it ranks number two on pollution across the United States and it ranks number 10 in air quality. So we really try to take pride in keeping our state clean, keeping it natural and actually having all these state forests and national parks out here stay in good condition and all the hot, mountains you can hike all the trails they all stay pretty clean which is very good when you're a person that actually likes to go and use them and you don't have to be climbing over trees or moving sticks and branches and even falling down trees off the trail so it's nice to actually have everything get taken care of for because people actually care about it number four and this one is huge new hampshire doesn't have any state income or state sales tax so you get way less taxes up here the one negative about this is you do get a little bit harder hit on property taxes. So if you're used to very low property taxes, wherever you're coming from, chances are it's going to increase. Uh, and it varies, of course, on town that you move to, but it will be pretty expensive. I know for like both my houses, it's pretty expensive. I don't have much land, but it's also because I live in a city where if you were to go out to the country more, you'll probably have a lower tax rate. It won't be terrible, but it's just something to expect that you do get higher property taxes, but you also have no sales tax and no state income tax. And number five, New Hampshire has a strong job market, actually ranking number one in opportunity, according to US News. And we actually come in a little bit above the national median for household income right around 78,000. And paired with that, we actually have a poverty rate below the national average at 7.3%. So it's very strong with looking for jobs and finding new places to go. And another thing to consider with the job market situation, if you're moving here 
and don't quite have a job lined up. Maybe you're kind of more used to city working. We, Boston is pretty close. I would say, depending on where you are, you probably want to be in southern New Hampshire. But if you're across the southern New Hampshire part, you're probably looking at anywhere from like an hour to an hour and 40, kind of depending on there. Again, where you are is going to matter. If you're kind of more west of the state, it's going to be a little bit longer to get there. Where if you're more east, it's just going to be kind of straight down. So it depends a little bit there, but you can take into consideration Boston for a job market if you're kind of more in those types of jobs. But yeah, that goes over the five reasons why you should move to New Hampshire in 2023. Again, the state is just a gorgeous little state. I mean, most of these smaller country towns, if you're going to move to a smaller country town, is you kind of know everyone around there, but you also have your privacy because a lot of the places with only 1.38 million, there's a lot of land. So like you're either buying a house with a lot of land or you just don't have a lot of land that's not used really near your house. So if you do see your neighbors in these small little towns, everyone kind of keeps their distance, even though you know each other. It's not like they're in your yard every night or anything weird like that. And then the cities are nice too. There's not like a ton of big cities. Like I believe our biggest one's Manchester and that's nowhere close to like an actual metro or anything, but it's our biggest city. Capital being Concord, which is another big one. But a lot of this stuff is kind of just small country towns, really good feel. Again, education's pretty good, uh, safe state. So you can feel comfortable raising a family here. And it's really just an overall great experience. You get to feel all the seasons. Sometimes that stinks because when it's below freezing and you just want winter to be over and summer to get here, you're not so keen on winter, but it's also nice to have a snowy Christmas morning. You get to see the fall, in the fall, you get to see all the leaves change. The summer, again, you get to experience the lakes, the beaches, go hike a mountain, go do all that. and. Of course, I don't know why I started with winter first and worked my way back, but spring is also gorgeous. It can have a downside if you live on a dirt road. It's kind of mud season, but seeing everything sprout again is awesome to see. And yeah, if you have any questions about moving to New Hampshire, drop them in the comments below or just send me a message. My contact info is kind of everywhere. You can always find it down below in the description. But Again, my name is Shane Moynihan, real estate agent and investor based out of Keene, New Hampshire. I am a New Hampshire native. I've lived here all my life. So if you have any questions, I should be able to answer them. If not, I'll find a way to get them answered, as I always do. Without further ado, I'll catch you next week.